Presidential candidate A.D. Roach says bullying accusations are part of a personal vendetta. Ambulance controllers in Dublin pull back from strike action pending Labour court hearing. And a European survey shows one in four Irish adults has difficulties with reading. Good evening. The presidential candidate, A.D. Roach, has said reports in today's newspapers alleging she bullied staff and members of her charity group are part of a personal vendetta against her, which has nothing to do with the presidency. Ms. Roach said that some tough decisions have to be made in the running of Chernobyl Children's Project, and she stands over them. She also says she's very encouraged by the results of the first opinion poll of the presidential race, which shows her slightly ahead. When presidential candidate A.D. Roach was introduced to the media last Tuesday, she said that one of her hopes was that the race for the Auris would be a clean one. Now she finds herself at the centre of what she's described as an orchestrated campaign against her. Reports in today's newspapers quoting a number of named and unnamed sources have criticised Ms. Roach's management style and the way she runs the Chernobyl charity. There's even talk of a small breakaway group setting up a separate organisation. I can't understand myself really why this campaign is being orchestrated against me, particularly when I'm running in a very vital campaign where the outcome is obviously of deep concern to myself. But I would prefer to rise above that in a sense because I can't answer for the people that are making allegations. But what I can say is that in my job, which is the running of a very efficient charity, which is of both national and international significance, that works with a very difficult subject, that works in very difficult countries, that sometimes tough decisions have to be made, particularly in reconstructing from being a voluntary organisation to being a national charity of good standing. And I was the person that made those decisions, and I stand by the decisions that I had to make at the time. And what of reports of a breakaway group being set up? Well, I can't comment on if somebody else is setting up an, another organisation. It's a free country, it's a democratic country. And, and let's face it, I mean, if you're heading up an organisation that's as high profile, profile as ours, which is as successful as ours, you're bound to ruffle a couple of feathers along the way. But she is happy with today's opinion poll findings. I must say I was very encouraged by the results of the poll today and I just hope that I can continue to build on that. We've still got a good couple of weeks to go. Senior Labour figures believe the stories in the Sunday newspapers about A.D. Roach may be to some extent politically motivated. But they also feel that if they have to come out, they might as well come out now so their candidate can deal with them head on. And that's exactly what Miss Roach has been doing today. But there was also good news for Labour. The first opinion polls in the presidential race show their candidate, A.D. Roach, ahead. A group describing themselves as key representatives of the Chernobyl Children's Project have issued a statement in support of A.D. Roach. The statement said messages of support were flooding into the project office and everyone involved would not allow what they called these petty attacks to disrupt their work. <laughs> 